All right, future millionaires, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be talking about how you can get started in real estate. And I really wanted to bring this to you all because I am a real estate investor and I've been doing that ever since I started my business. I really wanted a way to diversify my assets and income and you know, I'm, I'm not a real estate investor. And so I want you guys to understand the many different ways you can get involved in real estate too, even if you don't have a ton of money, okay? So uh, let's get into it. Grab your notebook, grab that pen, and let's get into these gems. Ellie talks money to create the better days. Business, money, life, the Ellie way. All right, y'all, welcome back into the video. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. That really helps me to be able to continue providing amazing content to you all. So let's talk about how you can get into real estate, even if you have a job, even if you are at a nine to five, even if you don't have a lot of money, okay? One of the first things I want to share with you is all the different ways that you can be a real estate investor. Number one, obviously you can purchase property and hold it and be a landlord. You can also flip houses. You can also do wholesale real estate. You can also invest in real estate. You can also go into developing, right? So there are many different doors where you can gain access to real estate as you are continuing to build your business and make more money so that you can do more real estate, okay? One of the first ways I want to go over with you all is purchasing property and rental hacking, okay? Now, this is really, really key because a lot of the time people think that the only way you you can become a landlord is if you have enough money to afford the house on your own. But actually, using FHA, where you are able to put just three and a half percent down, if you have that three and a half percent to cover the cost of a duplex or a triplex, they will actually factor in the income that can be generated from the other empty unit or the other empty two units into your income. So let's say you make two thousand dollars a month, but the property itself can bring in an extra $4,000 a month because there are two additional units, then your income is actually $6,000 a month. And that's how you are going to be able to get that property and have your mortgage paid every month because you live in one side and the other two people live elsewhere. So with this FHA method, you do need to live in that property for a year, but a year is not a long time. As soon as you're ready to go, now you're able to put three tenants in there or two or whatever the case might be. And now you're making full money off of that property and able to go turn that over and get something else. Another way that I want you to recognize is that you can leverage your business credit, right? So I'm always down your throats about building your business credit, having your business entity. And that is because when you have these things, you are able to apply for a business loan, apply for a business line of credit, and use that as a down payment on a property, an investment property, a single family home. And from there, that is how you can also get into your first real estate door. Now, I want you guys to understand that there are places to buy real estate that are a little more cost effective than others. So I live in Los Angeles, California, and if you know anything about LA, our prices are ridiculous, okay? It's giving disrespectful. So I would not say that this is where you could start as a beginner realtor unless you have you know, enough for a $100,000 down payment. But instead, even myself, I invest, uh, invest in places like St. Louis, Missouri, Houston, Texas, um, smaller parts of Florida like Tampa. These are areas where you can get a home for less than $100,000. So your down payment is $10,000, $5,000, $7,000. And people live here too. So yes, you will have tenants. All of my properties in St. Louis have tenants in them. So that is going to start becoming passive income and you're on the hook for a much less mortgage than if you were to go to a high demand state like Atlanta even or New York or California. And so with this strategy, this is a really great way for you to start having a portfolio and then guess what? A year or two into it, you're able to pull out a line of credit from these properties that you got to go and get another larger property. So, you know, the biggest thing about this is please don't think 
in order to be considered a real estate investor, you have to have, you know, million dollar properties on your portfolio. You can be running up a bag with several $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 houses and then borrow against all of those to then go and put money towards a much more expensive, nicer place, okay? So that's a really great way for you guys to start with what's reasonable and then expand because real estate is a long-term play. It's a long-term investment strategy. Now, I also wanna share with you guys another method which is to invest in REITs. So a REIT is a real estate investment trust, and this is where you can, similar to investing in the stock market, put in $100 a month, $200 a month, whatever is comfortable for you, and you own small shares in some of this country's largest real estate portfolios. So there are REITs over shopping malls, REITs for all these large apartment complexes, REITs in the restaurant industry, and when you purchase those, you are getting dividends so as those real estate companies make more money you also make more money and let's face it there will never be any more land if there's any investment that is a guarantee it's real estate you know it's it, it takes time for properties to appreciate not that much time really but there will never be any more land so this is a great other you know income stream that you guys can create as well as just a great asset purchase that you guys can do that will ensure your family and your legacy have money for the long term, right? Because that's what this is about. All right, so I want to give y'all a bonus tip on this topic, and that is to start earning money for real estate, do Airbnb, do rental arbitrage, right? And that is the method I teach you guys of acquiring corporate leases through, you know, at landlords, I'm sorry, at apartment complexes or single family homes or smaller complexes. And then that money you start making, set that aside to use to purchase your own duplex, your own small uh, motel, your own bed and breakfast, right? Your own single family home. This is a great way to generate income, which is still parallel to real estate so that you're getting experience in property management. You're getting experience in creating environments you're getting experience in fixing stuff you know if people come in and do crazy things in your airbnb you understand a little bit of that world so that's a great way for you to get started that's a great way for you to also make some money and then get great contacts as well um, through that journey so one thing i want to tell you guys is to look up some airbnb groups or real estate groups in your city a lot of the time they have free informational sessions or meetups where you can go and meet other people that are interested in real estate and that can be where you find your first business partner right so take that tip write it down and execute on it now um on my page i go live on my instagram page i go live with friends and colleagues of mine who are in real estate we talk about wholesaling, we talk about flipping and more real estate development. So I definitely want you guys to tap into that. And if y'all would like, I can certainly bring them on the podcast. So, you know, comment podcast down below or part two down below, and I'll know that this is something you guys are interested in so I can bring some of those guests here for a YouTube video with me. Um, because I love real estate. It's one of my goals to have 100 doors, 100 properties, and I'm working my way there, you know? So. So this is something I want to share with you guys too. All right. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know and I will see you guys in the next video.